everyone and welcome to how to install custom Red Dead coats and the new Frisian model. Step number one is to learn how to install mods. I have a full tutorial on my channel so make sure you watch that and follow all the steps before coming to learn how to install coats here. You can find a link to that video in the description or up in the corner. Step number two is to download Lenny's Mod Loader and the ASI Loader. You should have a folder on your desktop containing Rampage, Lenny Simple Trainer and Scripthook RDR2. Now you can go ahead and download Lenny's Mod Loader from rdr2mods.com. Go ahead and click download this file and then get the latest which is underscore 9 for me. Go ahead and click download. And once that's downloaded you can go to rdr2mods.com to get the ASI Loader. Go ahead and click download this file and get the most recent which is underscore 02 underscore 1. Go ahead and click download. Once you have these two go ahead and put them on your desktop. Step number three is to get these folders into our RDR2 mods folder on our desktop. So go ahead and open this file and then we're going to start with the ASI loader. Double click that to open it. Now you don't need WinRAR to do this tutorial so don't panic if your file doesn't look quite like mine. All you need to do is click on version.dll and go ahead and drag that into this folder here. Then you can close this and we're going to do the same for the Lenny's Mod Loader. Now we're going to go into Mod Loader and you need all of these files apart from the text file. Again, if you do leave this in, it isn't the end of the world. So now go ahead and drag that over here. And now all of these files are in our game mods folder. Step number four, you can close off this and if you wish you can also remove the zip files. Now we're going to go into the LML folder and as you can see it's empty. What you're going to do here is right click, add new, folder and just call it stream, all lowercase. Step number five is we need to add all of these files to our base game. So you're going to go ahead and open up another file explorer. And you should have your Red Dead Redemption 2 base files folder pinned or saved from the last tutorial. Now you're going to go ahead and highlight all of the files from your desktop folder, right click, click copy, click on this folder, right click and paste. Now that we have the mod files in our base folder, we can go ahead and close both of those and now you need to launch the game. This is because Lenny's Mod Loader needs to actually install some files when you first launch. Once you've heard that beeping noise, you know everything is working correctly. Now once you've launched the game, you don't actually have to open any save, you can go ahead and quit the game. So now if you open up your base game root folder and go into LML, you should see it has a mods folder and a patterns file. Now step number seven is the most fun. You can go ahead and find all of the codes that you wish to download. Now I recommend Nexus mods for looking for horse coats, specifically the user Bolju has very many different horse coats and breeds that you can look through. I also recommend new horse coats by Ferora914 or Horses Reworked by Persephone Charming. Now I have gone ahead and chosen the Frisian model by Bolju, all you need to do is click on the files, click manual download, slow download and it will start downloading. Now I did go ahead and want to pick up this Chestnut Tennessee Walker as well for a quick showcase. What we do is we go to Files, scroll down and look for Tennessee Walker Chestnut, then click Manual Download. Once we have our files downloaded, we're going to move them to our desktop. Step number eight is to place the new coat into our LML folder under Stream. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your file explorer, find your base root folder, which is Red Dead Redemption 2, go into LML, double click that, go into stream, and from here you can add all of your coats. I'll open my Tennessee Walker Chestnut, and I'll go ahead and drag this over. I will now do the exact same thing for the Frisian model, drag that in here, 
Now this is an optional step, but this will really help if you're switching between online and story mode where you're having to uninstall mods quite frequently. Once you have all of your coats in here, you're going to open the desktop mods folder. You're going to match the LML folder, go into stream, and you're just going to highlight this, right click, copy, and then paste into here. This just means that when you delete all of your files in the root folder, you don't have to reinstall all of the coats every single time. Step number 10 is to go ahead and launch the game. Once again, a word of warning, do not click online when you have mods running. If Rockstar detects that you are online and running mods, your account will be banned. And mods do not even work online, so don't risk it. Make sure you click story mode. Now, once you have your game save open, if you want to spawn in these new horses, go ahead and open your Rampage Trainer. Go to Spawner, Peds, Horses, and then find whichever coats you have replaced. For example, I know that the Frisian has replaced the Raven Black Shire. So when I spawn it in, as you can see, here is the brand new Dirty Frisian. Here we go, I've cleaned up the Frisian so that you can see it a little bit better. Now I'm sure people have a lot of critiques of this model, it isn't perfect, but honestly I've never seen anybody else do a Frisian model, but I really like that we have the option to have one in the game. Just another note is that the Raven Blackshire has now completely been replaced with this Frisian model, so you won't be able to find the original coat in your game whilst you have the override present. Also, I know that I downloaded a Tennessee Walker, so if I open Rampage and spawn in the Chestnut, as you can see, this one has also been replaced. Now, if you see any NPCs riding the Chestnut Tennessee Walker, it will look like this. The base original coat no longer exists. The uninstallation process is pretty much the same as I put in the original tutorial. Just go ahead and delete any of the files you no longer want, and they will revert back to the original. I really hope this tutorial helped you guys and I'll try to answer any questions or comments in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!